We're doing another raised bed for our watermelons. This is our next project. I ran out of scrap wood, so I broke down and I bought wood. But guess what? It's Father's Day weekend and all sorts of stuff's on sale. And I don't know where you're at, but around here, cedar fence post is really cheap and it's cedar. So it, it does really good with wet dirt, doesn't rot and naturally resists disease. Six foot board, six, feet, six inches wide, exactly, not an under. And uh, about three quarters of an inch thick is a dollar twenty nine. So in the future, I could have made that in like a few hours and about five dollars. That was so much work. I was being silly. Sometimes buying new is better than recycling. Yeah, I said it. Anyways, and then this this board here we're using to make our uh, we'll dry stakes. We're not going to stake it real deep, but we don't want it moving around either. So those will be our corner supports that we'll go into. And so here we are. I've just cut my first 12 inch board. So there's my dog here. And we're going to make a for the watermelons. They only need about six inches apart if you have two plants because they take about 10 feet between every two they they spread out they have a huge amount of space but we only have two plants so we're going to do it in this you're supposed to have about a 10 inch hill well we're not hilling them at all but we are going to have a six inch raised bed and then we're going to kind of wind the fruit around it as as they grow if they get that long and uh, we're not screwing this in because well i still don't have a drill turns out my charger uh, died so I can't even charge my batteries so went and bought nails because that was cheaper than a new drill but guess what I've got grapes that requires a trellis and that's probably gonna require me buying a new drill all right so I've now got the two one long sides done with just these are galvanized roofing nails. You want really big heads because this is cedar. Cedar does tend to crack very easily and it'll split. So you want to have something that has a big head on it which increases the surface area and will hold it down without splitting it. And this, the, these are actually poplar because it was cheaper than pine. So I got poplar. And I've already got my next two pieces cut. So here we are. Our raised bed is done being constructed. All four sides together. Keen observers will notice that I did not overlap my corners. No, I did not forget to add an inch to the length as I was not going to be hammering into the ends the end grain of the other two as this is cedar it splits very very easily so here we have it all installed just drove it down a couple corners at a time it's close enough to level no you don't have to have it level but I kind of believe that everything you do you should do unto the glory of God and do it right and so we did it right we dug down a little to make up for the difference. Again, it wants a 10 inch hill. So this is gonna give it the six inch raised bed plus about four inches down that we're gonna put in uh, amended soil. We're gonna mix it about half of our uh, native soil. You know, so it gets all the nice good stuff that's in the soil, doesn't shock it too much. And then 50% will be uh, topsoil and uh, which is a half sand half half soil mix and some potting soil which is like almost all peat with some uh, vermiculite or whatever it's called 
So that's going to be the mix that we'll put in here because watermelons like loose sandy, loose sandy uh, soil. How you doing? Fine. So here we are. We just finished transplanting our watermelons in. We've got them kind of trained. We actually had two. But that one may not make it. It's kind of small. I might divide it out. I don't know. The flower closed today. So it got pollinated probably. And we've already started training out. We're going to train this vine out. Over here we have a lot of just hot black clay can sit on. We'll have that one train out over the long here. We're going to take this one on the on this and we're actually going to train it back more along here. This one we're going to kind of bring towards the middle and this one we're going to bring out around over here. And then this one, because they get long, I'm going to train kind of along the, the flowers. And this one here, if it makes it, We'll just train it right along with it. This is our final soil. It's about half native and half uh, topsoil that's got other things mixed in it. And you can see the peat and the, all the bark and stuff. It's really good soil. Uh, don't know what else to say other than watermelons. They, they're a desert plant. A lot of people don't know that. We didn't. We just found that out when we were researching how to plant them. And I guess one of the, the biggest mistakes people make is overwatering them. So we'll see how these go. We're looking forward to it quite a lot. Hope you enjoyed this.